Hello and welcome to my video of adding a new license from an existing opportunity for center charge. Now, the first thing you need to do is find the opportunity that you wish to create a new license or issue a new license for. And in this case, I have a record called Ferrari Enterprises that I'm going to create the license for. So simply open the record Ferrari Enterprises from your opportunities. And you can see here there is a, a certain amount of information that we have captured about this opportunity. But in reality, we want to try and add a bit more information. So firstly, um, if we can basically put in a contact, we can actually create a new contact by clicking on the three dots here. Or we can see whether we have an existing contact set up. And in this particular case, we do. So I'm going to select Justin Harley as the contact for a Ferrari Enterprises and this particular license agreement. What I also need to do is basically tell the contract what type of the license, what type of opportunity it is. So if I drop this down here, you will see a list of opportunity types that relate to your business. In this case, I know it came from Instant Offices, so I'm going to select it's a new customer uh, that came from a broker. And over here, we do have the lead source um, entered in. If you do want to change it, simply click on the three dots and open up the... Uh, the, 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 the field chooser so you can choose exactly which broker you want to do. I'm going to leave this as instant offices. Now the last thing that you need to make sure is in here is that the site information is in there, the classification i.e. what type of customer it is whether it's a tenant or a virtual is in there and that the term and the start and end date are all correct within the license. In this case I'm going to change the start and end date so I'm going to start the, the uh, license on the 15th of March. I'm going to change the end date here to the um, 14th of March 2003, uh, uh, sorry, 2012, and basically just save the information. Once you are happy that you have enough information about the customer, simply click on Create License. This will open the license uh, blank license screen for you where basically the information that we have has been brought through now you need to fill in the the blank field so starting with the contact for the license well we've got Justin Harley in the database so we'll put him in as the main contact for the license but in this case they've requested that their billing contact for future invoices is a lady called Kate Smith so I'm just going to type in Kate Smith here. She's n if she was on our database, I would have selected the lookup here, but I know that she's not. So you just simply type that in. The next thing you need to do is make sure that the you choose your license agreement. In this case, I'm going to choose my let residential license agreement. And just check that all your fields on the top section, the general section of the license, are all complete. You will not be able to create a license if these fields are not complete. Okay, so the next thing is to select the term. Now the term has come from the opportunity. I'm quite happy with that term. If I wanted to change it, I can simply go in here and change the information, either by changing the term or changing the start or end date. The notice period is going to be two months. And down here, you can use a scroll bar to go up and down your license by simply going grabbing it on the right hand side and scrolling up and down I now need to add the address details for my license there are two types of address there's the billing information and there's the registered registered office information in this particular example I'm going to basically put in the billing information he's requested is going to be the building that they're taking residence of so you can simply hit copy site address and the address of my site, number one, Regent Street, London, has been added automatically to the license. If the registered address was the site address was also going to be the registered address, you can just simply tick here, same as billing address, and it will fill in the information. In this example, I'm going to add in a new address. So basically, the company number they've given me is one two three four five six seven, and the address that they've requested is Hammonds house now also is in London and it's W1C 5RT now it's best to put in the email address and the telephone number the more you can put in the better in but uh, not crucial information if you don't have it 
once you're happy with the information in your license agreement you can now just scroll down slightly on the license and put in the room and rent information that will relate to this license agreement to do that simply click add and you can see here the schedule of rent has been laid out for you and uh, what you need to do is select the unit first so we'll select the unit and we're going to put them in suite number 11 now in putting them in suite number 11 the system has alt automatically looked at the base information that surrounds that so we know that the, it's 30 workstations we know the monthly price is 1500 and if we need to change the amount of actual workstations because they're only having 25 we can simply record that information we should always make sure the reference text on the uh, on the unit is added if it's not already there you simply go in here and select either your from and to or whatever your company policy is for selecting these dates highlight click add and they and then click OK and they will be added to the reference text what that will do is it will basically pick up the billing period every time that um, that charge is invoiced to the client. The start date is already pre-filled. The schedule um, is set here so basically in this case it's a monthly deal. If it was to be quarterly we could just simply change that by dropping it down. Um, the majority of service office deals are, are monthly. You'll notice that the deposit has been auto completed for you. This will be completed on the rule that your company has set up. In this case I know the rule is two times the highest rent that I charge. Now, in reality although the list price is £1,500 what has happened in this example is the customer has negotiate, no, negotiated a stepped deal. So, and they have basically said that they're going to pay £1,000 for the first three months so up to the end of May so we're just basically going to put that in at 1000 just simply click in the enter monthly list price um, monthly price box and type in the amount so I put in a thousand once you hit return that amount will be applied to all other months and you just simply need to go to the month where you want the step to take effect so from the first of June they're going to step up to thirteen hundred pounds and you'll note each time I change the highest rent the deposit auto calculates for you so you don't need to do that although you can type in over uh, over that field and in December they are going to step up to 1500 pounds so quite simply this particular deal starts at a thousand pounds goes up to 1300 and then to 1500 pounds now you'll note here the actual price that they will pay is here so in this example we have a, st a pro rata charge for the first period from the 15th to the 31st and the system has also calculated for you. If you do want to basically place on a pro rata invoice the first two months rent you simply just tick both you tick invoice now here in this example I will do that so we'll see what it does so I just tick that there and once I'm happy with the information in here I basically can click save that is basically saved to the license if the customer was taking two rooms you would simply click add and repeat the process once you are happy that the information is all correct the charges on the initial invoice will be shown down here you can basically write in any internal comments on the deal that you've done so it might be worth explaining this will not go on the license it, will, it might be worth explaining why you have done a step deal so let's put in here negotiated a stepped deal agreed by manager and that's maybe all you need to do once you're happy with this and you want to actually create the license agreement simply click preview license this will bring up the license preview pane so we'll actually see a copy of the draft license so we can see here your company billing information is also merged in the information that we put about the client is put in there both from a um, registered office point of view and from an invoicing point of view the room that they're going in the term the notice period the deposit is stipulated and the highest rent is here on this particular um, 
on this particular agreement, if you click next and look at the next page, it actually maps out the schedule of the, of the license. If you had chosen any contract services such as broadband or internet, they would be listed here on the license. Now, to produce the pro forma invoice, just simply tick pro forma invoice and that will be produced for you. So um, that will be created dynamically for you. And now if you want to email those to yourself or print them or email them directly to the tenant, you can basically issue the license by clicking here on send license choosing which option you want to, to select. So in this case, I'm going to go, um, I'm going to send both the pro forma and the license by email. And it will basically just whir away and basically attach those two documents to a, an email. If you have a template set up here that you need to issue, obviously select template. If not, and you just want to send a free form email, so dear Justin, just simply type it in, please find license and pro forma invoice. Once you've done that, you simply just send the, the documents to the, uh, the contact that you so wish. So we'll send it to um, Justin here and click send and that will be sent. The, the email will be stored on the opportunity for you. If you save and close this, what you will have in your under offer now is a license that relates to Ferrari Enterprises. And if you click in here, you'll be able to see the, the opportunity. If you go into the account, Ferrari Enterprises, you'll see not only the opportunity, but you'll see the actual license agreement that you have created. The status of that license is now changed to issued, so if we go back and have a look at what, what that license is, it's basically sat here as an issued license. If you do want to come back and edit anything and reissue the license, you will need to just click on revert to draft and it will change it to a status of draft and you'll be able to edit anything on it. And that basically is creating a license from a sales opportunity. Thank you.